the Popocatepetl is an active stratovolcano, and its name translates to Smoky Mountain. This is fitting as the volcano is quite active. However, in recent years, residents and people from across the world have been noticing some strange activity around this volcano. People can view it due to the multiple live cameras. As some users have said though, it's not just ash that's witnessed close to the volcano, but rather strange objects and glowing lights are often seen above it, with some saying that they even fly in and out of the volcano. Not only this, but the webcams have captured what appears to be meteors flying directly into the volcano, but sometimes this happens multiple times in one night, leading some to say that the chances of this happening would be extremely slim and it's due to this that users have looked at other possibilities. People have managed to take photographs and screenshots of the objects while above the volcano, and interestingly the most commonly seen objects are the cigar and disc. However, various other shapes have been seen. This has caused amateur researchers to label this place as somewhat of a hotspot, with users noting that dozens of these strange objects are seen around the volcano and this is only the ones that are captured on camera. Residents close to the region have said that they're often seeing bright lights, detailing that is as if these lights are interested in the volcano itself. It would be one thing if these objects were just seen around the volcano, but photographs have shown that these objects also fly in and out of it. A commonly shaped object that's captured on the webcam is that of the glowing orb, and these are perhaps one of the most reported mysterious flying objects by people worldwide, and they're known for being difficult to photograph, as they just appear as glowing smudges on cameras. This begs the question why are these objects so interested in this volcano? No other volcano on our planet is as active as this one in terms of having strange objects witnessed around it. Here's just a few strange lights that have been seen around this volcano. One user said the following about the photographs. What's odd about this is that this isn't just a one-off thing. Loads of these glowing objects can be seen flying into the volcano. I think it's fair to label these as unidentified, and I don't even think we could say that these are natural, as some of these lights have been observed hovering above this volcano for several minutes, before making a quick exit. End quote. One local news reporter captured a strange object close to the volcano, with the news station going on to say the following. A mysterious flying object was captured by the journalist Carlos Clemens during the period of activity of the Popocatépetl volcano. This was on March 27th. The images show the object flying over three kilometers high. To make the shot, the journalist of the team of conductor Jamie Marsan occupied a camera of 3,000 millimeters. The journalist toured the area impacted by the volcanic activity of Don Jaya, and the material would serve the broadcast of the third millennium news programs. When we were doing a photographic survey of the area near the colossal of fire, in one of our images the presence of an unidentified flying object was captured in an accidental way. When we were observing, we realised that they were passing by at high speed at a distance, and that we could not identify the object. However, in this photograph we can clearly see one of these objects move near the volcano. Without doubt this is one of the clearest pictures of this type of mysterious flying object that's been captured near the volcano. End quote. 
Others have said that these objects could be a natural phenomena like ball lightning. Ball lightning is the strange occurrence of when the conditions appear to be just right, and the static discharge of a normal thunderstorm creates what appears to be a floating ball of pure lightning. Not only do these strange unexplained instances of ball lightning create an unexplainable perfect spherical shape, but they also appear to move erratically through the sky, and have often been mistaken as mysterious objects. Many don't buy this, and suggest that there's something far more mysterious going on at this volcano. Residents close to the area have said that for the past few years, mysterious objects have been seen above various cities, and that after these objects make an appearance the military is often seen throughout the area. It's due to this that some think these objects belong to something more mysterious. Photographs have made their way on social media showing a mysterious orb. Some of the first people in the scene were local residents, who made social media posts detailing the strange objects that fell from the sky, detailing that it was metallic. A meteorologist who lives in the region said that the mysterious metal object may have had a secret code on it, and suggested that it should be taken in for further research noting that it may contain important information inside. News vans turned up shortly after its discovery and revealed that it had fallen from the sky onto a tree in Veracruz, Mexico. The meteorologist suggested that the Navy should collect it and carry out their own investigations. Another news station said that after talking to locals in order to get to the bottom of what happened, they found out that the metal ball hit the region at around 10pm with one resident saying that the metal ball just suddenly fell from the sky, and that a group of people were taking photographs of the objects and posting them to social media. One news station said the following, The object appears to be made of a very hard plastic or alloy of various metals. An amateur researcher decided to conduct their own research in the area, and said that citizens in northern Veracruz reported hearing a loud boom followed by an object coming down from the sky making a lot of noise. Experts then quickly made their way onto the scene and told anyone who touched it to wash their hands, and quickly removed any crowds that had gathered, saying that they would be conducting their own research into what this object is, and why it landed where it did. Interestingly, NASA doesn't just track asteroids. The space agency also looks out for small objects that are man-made, saying that although some of these objects are small, they're still big enough to cause damage to people along with property. As stated on NASA's website, DOD's Space Surveillance Network tracks discrete objects as small as 2 inches, or 5 centimeters in diameter in low Earth orbit, and around 1 yard or 1 meter in geosynchronous orbit. Currently, around 27,000 official catalogued objects are still in orbit, and most of them are 10 centimetres and larger. The meteorologist who commented on the mysterious object said the following. A specialised team of the Secretary of the Navy of Mexico, and all the Secretary of National Defence needs to collect it and turn it in for special study. Oddly enough, people then started to comment on the object and how it had strange markings on it, with one user saying that you shouldn't touch it until it's been reviewed by scientists saying that it has strange markings on it and it may be radioactive. Other users said it was strange how the object wasn't tracked, noting that although this object isn't huge, it's definitely bigger than 5 centimeters, and should have been big enough for researchers to have detected it. Mr. Cano, a weather presenter, said the following, I'm giving a follow-up on the issues regarding the metal sphere composed of seven alloys, which was placed on the night of Sunday 31st of July. It was found on the cup of a tree. It's reported that the artifact was already removed, and by Monday it was taken by highly trained staff. The object is no longer in the state of Veracruz, and its final destination will be crossing our borders. Interestingly, this isn't the first time that strange objects have been reported falling to the ground. Many people in Brazil have reported seeing mysterious lights in the sky, 
only to then see strange objects fall out the sky, detailing that they're in the shape of round orbs. Various videos started to make their way online, with more and more people capturing footage of these mysterious lights. Residents stated that the lights would pulsate and jump around the sky, while others said the objects stayed in a fixed position before making a fast exit. The location where the lights have been seen the most is north of Rio de Janeiro. Interestingly, the Brazilian press have been reporting on these objects, as locals have been sending in their videos. Mage is the area where these events have been unfolding, and because of so many people seeing it and talking about it, the event began to trend on social media. However, some said that it only trend for an hour or so because the trend was taken down, along with subsequent posts and photographs. Interestingly, things took a turn when residents from the area said that one of the objects got into trouble and crashed. Those who were in the area detailed that the object in question hit the ground but didn't break up, and when this happened, even more lights started to make themselves known. Intrigued by what had happened, one resident decided to venture out and see if they could find the downcraft. They soon found the site, and in a small clearing a metallic spherical looking object could be seen. It appeared to be emitting some type of steam while being lit up from the inside of a blue light. The footage only lasts for around 15 seconds. Although the object in question looks interesting and futuristic, Others have questioned the authenticity, saying that due to the strange lights being seen in the area, someone was using this as a way of making this footage seem more genuine. Things took another turn when it was reported that the area close to where the object had been found had high levels of background radiation, something that people at the time couldn't explain. Some who have seen the footage have said it's clever filming, and that someone used camera tricks in order to make the object appear a lot bigger. At the time, various residents said that don't let this distract you from the lights being witnessed, further saying that they think that something is going on here. So what do you make of these interesting reports? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Thank you.